Hello everyone, I am Harshwardhan, an artificial intelligence engineer and you are watching another web guide YouTube channel. Today we are going to create a very interesting project of desktop notifier for COVID-19 using web scraping. So without wasting any time, let's get started. And if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So here we are on our notebook. At first we will write our code in the python notebook and then we will uh, download this file as .py file so that we can run from anywhere in the desktop. So let's get started. At first I will give a heading of uh, desktop notifier for COVID-19. Great. Now to scrape data from the web, you need to use URL lib and the beautiful zoo. So at first I have to import them. I will say from URL lib dot request import URL open and request great. And from BS4, I will import beautiful soup, okay, as BS. I'm just specifying a uh, alias. And then to get any notification, you will use win10 toast. So from win10 toast, we will use toast notifier. Let's import it. For, oops, for, oops, from when then toast import toast notifier let's run this great okay now we have to scrape data from a particular website so which website i'm talking about so this is the website worldometer.info coronavirus country india and from this website we will scrape these two data points the number of new death and the number of new cases great so let's code it i will say header oops header is equals to user agent and uh, i will say user agent is mozilla after that uh, i have to say request is equal to request and uh, let me go and take this link and put it here and i will specify a header and which will be header you might be thinking why i have used this header because if you don't use the user agent you will get an HTTP error. I will show this to you after writing this complete code. I will say HTML is equals to URL open and I have to give the request. Let's run it. Okay. And HTML. Great. HTML dot status. Oops. Dot status. is done. Great. Now what I'll do, I will just, uh, okay, I will just remove this code and now see what happens. Okay, you can see that I have got an HTTP error and it says HTTP error 403 forbidden. Whereas if I do this, now data is scraped and status is 200. Great. I have to create a soup object so at first I will take this into full screen mode and now I will create a soup object in a, a variable object and bs and I will pass html through it great so bs was beautiful soup and uh, here we got the html I have just passed the html through the beautiful soup to get the soup object great so to specify or to obtain the data, we need to know where that particular data lies. 
for this we need to go to that particular website and uh, by the use of the developer tools we can get the data point here you can see that this that means the new cases is here and uh, to grab this new cases we can use this class news li and uh, in this news li we have a strong and in that strong we have a text so first we will go to a li tag and uh, i will select that li tag whose class is news li and in that class i will go to the strong tag and from that strong tag i will grab this text so let's code it and you will understand what i am saying i will say object dot find and uh, i will say li after that i will say class is news li okay great and uh, here is our data point so in this class i have to get to this tag that means strong tag so i will say strong s t r o n g great now i have to get the text so i will say text that's amazing and uh, i want to split this text so i will use split and uh, this will give me a list of all the elements present in that particular string and i will grab the number so i will say zero great so save this to a new variable i will say new cases great after that we have to get the value of this one and four new death so for this i will again use the developer tool and i will get here so it is again in that class news li and the second strong tag okay so let's code it i will say object dot find and again i have to go to that li tag whose class is oops class is what it's news li okay right and here is our data so i will say dot strong this is the data that we have scraped here so you can see that oops what i have did great so this data point is sibling to this strong tag that means the new cases and uh, the death are the sibling to each other so i will do the same thing i will go to the next sibling and i will this is a generator i will just convert this into list and grab the value 1 great and just extract the text from it okay split this to grab the number and i will say 0 okay uh, let's save this to a new variable i will say death saved let's work to create your own notifier so here i will give a heading notifier okay so i will uh, create a variable notifier which will be instance of toast notifier done now we have to specify what is the message i will say message is equals to new cases and uh, then i will say new cases which is our variable and again using string concatenation i will just create a new line of for 
dead and uh, done and I will give the variable dead okay now let's see the message so this will be our message great now we have to show the toast that means we have to show the notifier so we will say notifier oops n great dot show toast and uh, what is the title i will say title is the covid19 update so i will say title is uh, covid covid oops covid19 update great and uh, what is the message message is message and uh, then what is the duration of uh, the notification so it will be five seconds great duration is five seconds and uh, I also have downloaded the icon for this so I will just uh, give the icon path which is the raw value of virus dot ico okay now let's run this and you can see that we have got an update or uh, notification of covid19 now let's download this file as dot py file and run this without the jupyter notebook so i will just go here and i will download it as dot py file and i will say save great and i will so show in folder and i will run this you can see that we got an update of total new cases and the death for 5 seconds so that's all for this see you in the next lecture